Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting off at Snowgo. Alright, with that being said, let's go off to a snow level where ice physics are about to happen. Yeah, alright, let's swap that TNT. There we go. Bang! Alright, let's get through there. Alright, so there's this size part where unfortunately physics here that are just absolute awkward in this game. Well at certain times crash I can't help but think crash but who keeps getting stuck and sometimes uh, the physics makes crash slide all over the place. Right, pop it, please. There we go, thank you. At least at least the at least the inflection is uh, there. Alright, Crash, let's go. Now, the point of those warp rooms is that, you, unlike in the last game, we have to go from one area to another by like, unlocking them through the map screen. You can actually tackle any level in any given order, pretty much like a level select screen. Only except it's a hub instead. You can actually, do you actually start off for the first five levels, but as you go along, you get more levels to choose from. Either when, if you want to replay them in order to get the gems, or if you if you actually if you actually get the gems first, then that means you might replay them. And of course, or if, or if you want to get more extra lives, or if you miss something like a secret area or anything like that. In the lot in the in the sequel, Crash Bandicoot, in Crash Bandicoot 3, they actually made the uh, system a little bit more, you know. Uh, they actually added the relics in order to uh, add more replay value to the uh, game, as well as a reason of revisiting the levels, so you can get 100% on that game. Here, you have to just play, but in this case, you actually have to get all the gems and all the crystals in order to get the 100% and get the best ending in the game. Unlike the last game, where getting the, where getting the um, good ending won't uh, count towards the uh, events of it going into this game from the first one. I think uh, I think uh, all you got to do is defeat Cortex in order to uh, get to the next part of the game. Into the it, it, it order to go from for the first game to the second, I believe. As, as I'm saying that, we're nearly finished with this level. Right. Did they just clip through snow? Gracious me! Please be clipping them. <laughs> Dirty number sixty-nine. <laughs> All right, I need to uh, see what if there's the number. So I need seventy-four. Let's have a check. Yes, and there's uh, there's there's uh, four, five boxes out there, and yep, there's our box gem. There we go. Now let's go. To the next stage. Right. So you got the crystal and both the gem. And the gem. But unfortunately, we can't get the red gem until we get to a bonus level. Ugh. I forgot to mention this that you need to get the red gem in order to. I think it's level 7 that you get to the secret area. And get access to. But for now, let's go over to the next level, which we need to do in order to get to the boss Hang 8. Because we need five crystals in order to get to a boss area. I'm going to say this right now: the music in this one absolutely, just absolutely uh, gets the atmosphere going. Yeah, it's kind of like surfing music. Oh, oh you don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, also, what I'm going to say this right now is that. Whenever you get this timer, you've got a gem chance. All you got to do is to get to the end. All you got to do is to not hit any checkpoints. You know, on my way there. And you have to do it in the fastest time as well. In this area, in this stage, it's not bad. But in the, in the third stage of this, you, can't, you cannot afford to make any silly mistakes. There's plants there as well that makes the whole thing worse. You need to bring Aku Aku to you as much as you possibly can. Oh, I missed it. Alright, let's go. Yes! 
Oh, I didn't spin attack. But that doesn't matter because I've got Aku Aku Me and I got the gem. Right, like what we did at the first level. Let's commit out of the carry and uh, get back into that area where checkpoint which we got. It's a good thing I got made it in time because otherwise I would have wanted to restart the level. And yes, you have to do it at the beginning of the level if you want that gem chance. Because if you don't, and if you hit a checkpoint, you have to uh, go back to the warp room and you've got to re-enter the level. And this music is actually pretty good. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Yeah. There we go. Crack. Boink. Alright, so we're done with that and let's get on with the next part of the level which is the blue gem path. Yes, you need the blue gem in order to get all the box to get this stage's box gem. It's a good thing I actually went into uh, Turtle Woods and got decided to go to Turtle Woods first. I decided to get the um, the decided to get the uh, no box gem first, then the box gem at uh, Turtle Woods. There we go. Here we go. Oh, there's hippos there. Once the hippos get stepped on, they'll just go sink down into that. Try and not get fall into the water though when you're on the hippo, because otherwise Crush will do his drowning animation. Which is quite gruesome, by the way. I know it's quite gruesome, but they're quite funny though. There we go. Alright, let's uh, go through here. There we go. Let's hit that. Uh, oh, fuck. Let's hit. Let's go back there and let's get to. Let's get all those boxes. Here we go. Here we go. And the water also does this. Uh, so has this uh, rippling effect on there. There we go. Now let's get up back into the main path, shall we? There we go. There we go. Right, so let's uh, go. It's hit that checkpoint, and let's get on with the next, this, the last part of this stage. Provided we avoid those mines. There we go. Flipper. Right, with that being said, we've got the box gem again, and with let's go back into the warp room and report to Cortex. So that's tag eight. Crystal. Box gem. Special gem. Well, no, it's the left is the special gem, the right is the box gem. The special gem is to protect, is to get to the uh, get to the warp room part uh, as quickly as you can before the time runs out. What does Cortex want this time? Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognise. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Understood. Good luck. Alright, now let's go up, shall we? Going up, and who do we get to face first of all in, this, in the first boss of the game? Why, it's... None other than 
Ripperoo, our old friend, who's become a professor now. Guess what? He decided, oh, he's used his pogo. Oh, he's using his cane as a pogo. Goodness gracious me, why are you trying to be Scrooge McDuck? Oh, there we go. And once uh, Ripperoo's on his feet, he'll lay down nitros this time around. There we go. Now, and then bop on his head. He's got three, well, he's got three lives. You can't destroy the entities, but when they detonate, that means... That means if you get caught by the explosion, Crash will die. Also, don't hit any of the nitros as well. It can be a cost mistake. They actually operate as if you touch a nitro crate. I got one more hit to go. Right. Come on. Oh, what? How did it hit me? I was a few inches away. Damn. Yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, that was a bit of a bad thing. Right, let's start this, shall we? You got to hit three times. Once he gets the nitros uh, desolated, that means he'll go into a dizzy phase. Oh, we have to destroy him. There we go. That's the first hit. Then we'll lay down the TNT again. Wait until he uh, destroys the TNT. The TNT destroy each other in a chain reaction. Okay, Nitro. Guys, unfortunately, in the, with Crash Grand, if he gets hit by TNT, he'll have that nut, that angel, uh, his angel um, death animation. And let's uh, spray away from that, uh, that uh, one that's uh, the nearest to the countdown. There we go. Now we got Nitros. Whoa! How did he hit me, but I did it to die? Right. There we go. He's died. Yee-ha! Wait, wrong game. This time Crash doesn't just say yee or it goes into the air, he'll just do his crash dance. Alright, we've done Ripper Room, so we're going back to the warp room. Whoa, toss through. Oh, what does Cortex want now? <laughs> I see that Ripperoo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. Mostly. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. Twenty more? The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. <sighs> Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Do I have a right to believe you? Coco again? I can't understand you. Seems like the static is really interrupting here. I just can't understand her. Alright. So we've done it, so we got to save the uh we've got to save the um game and with that being said I'll see you guys in part three when we take on the second warp room of the game. So with that being said I'll see you guys in part three of the Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Play.